I have written and had published a trilogy of romantic novels under a female pen name. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. What, what's the female pen mm. name, Mary? Mary Windsor. Mary Windsor. Mary Windsor? <laughs> yeah. And at what stage in your career was this? Early. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I've, I've, I'd written, uh, done one book of anecdotes, and the publisher said uh, they fancied doing a sort of sub Barbara Cartland, you know, a sort of one of those. Well, were the anecdotes particularly romantic in your book? No, of no, anecdotes? not originally. I don't know why they chose me, but I went for it and I got away with three of them, which didn't sell. Obviously, nobody's heard of them. But were they linked by the Was it a trilogy or were they, uh, you know, was it the same no, story? No, there were three separate stories. Great, so that's all three plots, please, uh, off the cover. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Book number one. <laughs> yes, book number one was a shameless rip-off of Lady Chatterley's Lover. It was about a guy who worked on the estate and the lady of the manor. It was just blatant. <laughs> and what was it called, Barry? What was the title of that one? My Land. It was a quotation from the lady of the manor who said it at a crucial point in the plot. Oh, how crucial. <laughs> on their first falling out. They oh. become lovers, and then it became very tense and something, and then she became very autocratic with him. Mm. And it was a very moving moment, if I say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, and book two? Book two was set in Spain, and a bullfighter was involved. All right. <laughs> well, same plot, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> it was book two called My Bull? <laughs> I'm ashamed to say it was called Hasta la Vista. <laughs> OK. I wish you wouldn't go on about this. I'm not proud of them. <laughs> I, I, I think I want to read them. Mm. Yeah. Um, and book three? One Year, it was called. One Year? One Year. You didn't go overboard in the titles. <laughs> <laughs> No, simple, self-explanatory titles. Oh, what was the plot of book three? <laughs> the plot of book three was on board a liner. Right. <laughs> on board a liner. My liner. This posh, frustrated woman went on a liner and met the steward. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. Why did they stop this? This is gold! <laughs> Which one, now that you look back, Barry, with the <laughs> wisdom that you've accrued over the years... Yes. Which one are you proudest of? The third one, because I was starting to get the hang of it. <laughs> Not... <laughs> but the, um, the publishers disagreed. They thought you were losing what hang of it you'd ever had. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What are you thinking? What do you think, Lorraine? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just don't see Barry having the time to do it. And I could write running. those drunk in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we think it's a lie, don't I think we? it's probably you a sure? lie. Yeah. I think it's a yeah. lie. Mm -hmm. Barry Cryer, truth or lie? Dramatic pause. <gasps> Music is heard in the background. <laughs> It was alive. Yeah. It's a lie. Barry hasn't written a trilogy of romantic novels under a female pen name. Uh, I love romantic fiction. And the new Jilly Cooper book features a highly sexed woman who makes love in the strangest of places. It's on the shelves Monday. Hanging from a chandelier Tuesday. <laughs> and top of the wardrobe Wednesday.